Where's it at? There it is. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna put my apron on and I'm gonna pop out my trap. Post eclipse. The eclipse has been witnessed. And, and popping out that chair. Um hold up. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, I think that's got it. Boom. Oh man, I didn't announce the Discord. Sorry. And got our questions ready. And settle back in. Make a few more pieces. I don't think I've ever streamed this late in the day before on the YouTube. We'll see how that goes. Here. Getting equipped. So I get my pants too dirty. So I don't like Bert down there. Can we see Bert? Yeah, you can see him in there. This thing's fitting all weird. I don't know what I've done. Oh, that's what that's what's wrong. I don't have it on right. There. <sighs> There we go. Now it's on right. I need to empty out my splash pans or I'm going to have a mess. Oh, I also forgot to post my short. I'll have to post that after I'm done being live. I typically post those around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Shame. For shame. I'll get it, get it maybe. Maybe we'll stream here another 30 minutes or so, and that'll be about my typical amount of time streaming in a day. And then I'll post my short, it won't be too terribly late. Alrighty. Onward. There's a siren going. Someone must have had a wreck during the eclipse. The eclipse right now is at its, it's just past its point of the most eclipsedness and it was cool very eerie outside right now me and my Megs actually went on a nice long walk during the eclipse so that was cool nice little break during the uh, middle of the work day uh, we'll just hang out for another 20 years or so and then we'll get to see another one <coughs> Clint says, my first eclipse was back in 1976. Also, welcome back to you. Glad you came back. It's probably getting pretty late for you now. So it'd be like 9 or 10 o'clock at night, I guess. Said it was 8 last time. 1976. I was not even a twinkle in my daddy's eye in 1976. I was born in 1984. Uh, I, I saw the last eclipse that was in 2017. It was like a different kind. Whatever whatever you call that kind. And it was cool. I remember having much the same feeling. It's just like being pretty eerie. Uh, I tried to put my... Oh, I should have bought my glasses in here. One of those while I did pottery. I tried to put my glasses over my camera lens and then adjust the, um, the focus on the camera lens to get a picture of it. It didn't work. Should have known it wouldn't work. I tried. I tried anyway. Uh, it was very cool. It was just a sliver across the bottom. Across the bottom of the sun. We were at like 89% here, I believe. <sighs> Clanthus was nine years old. My son is eight. And he, uh, I'm assuming that they got to see the eclipse today. And I'm glad, like, even the amount we got, it was still, like, too much to bear, like, trying to look at the sun without your glasses on. So, so hopefully that made the kids keep their glasses on. <laughs> I don't have any, I don't have any eye damage. Uh, 
Forest Fairy. Hello, Forest Fairy. Warm welcome to you. Glad you're here. It's a new name. If you have any pottery questions, hit me up. My Max texted me. Did you send that pic? Yeah, I sent the email. Sorry, my Megs. Maybe it got stuck in my outbox or something. Uh, I'm so excited to see. I don't know what that is. Forest Fairy, I'm sorry. You excited to see a mug? Because that's what I just made. Also, Bert's here. He's right down here. All right, let's swap into the other table. I made a bunch of mugs today. It has been a really busy day. It's as Mondays typically are around here. My mags packed orders all day long. Uh, I did this morning uh, some kiln work. I actually had to do a lot of cleanup this morning too because the last uh, my last throw session on Friday, I was trying out the new lower fire uh, clay, that brown clay body. So I had a lot of cleanup to do. I had to clean out my bucket, clean off my pottery wheel, clean off my bats, uh, splash pans. Um, the tables weren't too bad. Uh, and I have two different bowls that I use. I use one bowl for when I'm recording videos because it's lower. Like this is like my sit down and throw for a very, very long time bowl, bucket rather. And then my other is like a more shallow bowl so that the camera can see over the top of it. Uh -oh. But, I brought some more Would You Rather questions with me. What else did I do today? Oh, I recorded all of my shorts for the week this morning. So today's short, which I had, I meant to already post, but I haven't posted yet. I'll post it like as soon as the live stream's over, but. Uh, I did a little serving bowl, um, but I almost messed it up while I was doing it. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna post this anyways. I almost made a mistake but I saved it so that's what's going on today uh, let's see tomorrow will be like a real tall skinny base and then I've got a wide plate platter thing with some, a spiral design in it uh, a ridged vase and another like um, skinny neck long necked vase those are the shorts for the week and as far as the other videos going up I have the full on 15 minute throw of the last video I just posted on Friday the uh, big bowl big giant bowl I have one that's like uncut so it's basically well it's got a few little cuts in it because one of my cameras has a max record time of 10 minutes so it's in like three different pieces but none of the throw the actual throw itself is cut out it's just raw struggling with the clay Hello, Mira. Time flies by. It's already April. Indeed. It sure does. It's crazy. It's man, it's just like a third of the way through April. What is, what's today's date even? Like the 8th? The 9th? I don't even know. Nowhere on my watch. But a warm welcome to you. Glad you're here. Did you have a good weekend? We talked all about weekends earlier, earlier in the stream. Yeah. Mug number two for part two of the stream. You ready? Boom, all right. Would you rather time? Would you rather, oh, this one's appropriate for the eclipse. Would you rather live in a world of eternal darkness or eternal light? I think eternal light would be better. It's good to be able to see what you're doing, man. I think that one's a no-brainer. What do you guys think? Think something different? Hey, Duncan's here. Hey, man, did you enjoy that eclipse? You're probably still sitting out on the porch enjoying it right now as we speak. I got done. I got, I got done looking at it. We got to the point of maximum eclipsedness and then a cloud covered it and I was like, well, time to go back in and go to work. It wasn't until clouds. Yep. 
Yep, that was my experience as well. Hey, Sunset, welcome back. I need to make Duncan moderator too. Give Duncan the moderator powers. Hey, Rackman's back. Oh yeah, Rack, you got the total eclipse. Total eclipse for the Rack. How was it? Darkness. You think the darkness is your ally, Rackman? I posted a picture. Oh, I'm gonna have to check it out. Did you post it on the Discord? Or on the Facebook? Because I go find it. Uh, Sunset, why is my name blue? I'm confused. Haha, -ha, you're a moderator. <laughs> if you see someone engaging in shenanigans, and I chose you because you're here very often, if someone is saying bad words and nodding things, you can click their name and you can hide their chat if they offend you or me. If they offend me and I'm like, get that one, go get them. Discord, okay, cool, I'll have to check it out. <clears throat> would have been pissed if we were in the 100% totality area and the clouds were in it. Yeah, I would have too. I would have felt very insulted by that. That was pretty cool though. Enjoyed the eclipse. Looking forward to the next one here in like a couple of decades. Maybe I'll still be here. So I'll be, I'm 40 now, I'll be, I'll definitely be an old peepaw by then. Megan already calls me peepaw. I'm gonna be like double peepaw by then. Triple peepaw. <clears throat> Sunset says, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, congratulations. You have become a moderator. But also, don't feel any pressure. Like, if you don't want to do it, don't worry about it. I just picked you because you're here all the time. Uh, and it's you guys that are probably more bothered by the shenanigans in chat. Actually, it bothers me. It bothers me a lot. Uh, since it says I'm disappointed in myself, I didn't get up to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you catch the next one. Uh, and we could look at it during the totality without glasses. Oh, you could? I didn't know you could do that. Can you still see? Are your eyes okay, man? Because I heard that you couldn't. Oh, Duck, I'm going to make you a mod real quick. Well, I'm thinking about it while you're here. So you'll have the power. Real ultimate power. It's going to be like back on Twitch when everybody was my moderator. Standard moderator. Watch words and change chat modes and live. Let's get the relief standard moderators. Oh. Got standard moderators. I'm not sure there's a managing moderator as well. I could give one of you guys the, the moderator power to manage the moderators. This, this had a bunch of, that had a big old thing on it. Oh, that must have been the, um, this must have been the bat I used for that 20 pound bowl. Oh, uh, what should you do, Rack, Indiana? 100% you can, if it's 100% you can. You were told right because you weren't in totality, Chad. But I thought even if it was totality, you still couldn't. We're just cheering for the eclipse, indeed. Cleantha says, Duncan, hi. Duncan, the initial translator for Cleanthus, has returned. Hey, Duncan, did you have a good weekend, man? I hadn't talked to you in a little while. What you been into? That one was kind of hard to clean up. And this is one of my bad bats, so it's all like gnarled and messed up. Christopher, <clears throat> hello, Christopher. Christophorus. I have to be careful pronouncing these names to make sure there's not any kind of name shenanigans going on. Because I've been I've been got by those before. Welcome to you. Uh, no, in totality, it got so covered, you couldn't even see it through the eclipse glasses. Oh, wow. That's cool.
I want to welcome to you, Christopher. I'm going to call you Christopher. Chris. Chris for short. I got a cousin named Chris. <clears throat> Again, if you're in an area that 100, has 100%, but only during the time that is at 100%. We were very much not at 100%. Although it was rather, uh, rather dim. I had a bro down, didn't talk about this earlier, but my Megs went out on girls night with, with my daughter and, and me and my son had a bro down. <laughs> I went over, I didn't want to have to go get takeout like all the way uh, a long drive into town to get uh, takeout, but he wanted pizza. So I just went over to the Dollar General and got us a frozen pizza and a pack of chicken nuggets. And they were like Tyson chicken nuggets. Um, and they were actually pretty good. I would eat them again. So uh, we had chicken nuggets, pizza, and we played Raft. But at first we tried to play Rift. I uh, made us both Rift accounts. It's just free to play now. And uh, it was disappointing. It was all messed up on his laptop and he was clipping it out of the buildings and stuff. So we played it for all of about five minutes and then swapped to Raft. Uh, weekend was pretty good. Had to uh, get totally covered for me to take that picture when it was still sliver. My camera couldn't focus. Yeah, mine had a hard time focusing. Uh, let's see. Missing. Slowing down. Uh, Clancy says, another grease. Uh, Barrett, welcome to you. Glad you're here. Hi, from the Republic of Kosovo in Albania, Southeast Europe. Welcome to you. Glad you're here. Glad to see you. Uh, Christopher, I can't believe you're talking to me. Why not? Why can't you believe I'm talking to you? That's my jam. I like talking to people while I'm working. That's what we do. Uh, chicken nuggets sound delicious right now. Yeah, they sound pretty delicious to me right now, too. When I was reminded of the chicken nuggets, <laughs> it's like, dang, I want some. Uh, I think we're going to have chicken some way tonight it will not be in the nugget form although now that i remember that i have them what i have a little bit of bag left in the freezer we may have chicken nugget appetizer megs will frown upon that though um we did have a pretty tasty meal last night at a wedding reception it was greek food which was surprising to me uh it was quite good speaking of greece not greek is Cypriot. I don't know how to say that. Cyprus. Oh, from Cyprus. Okay, I see. You, see, you have to explain things to me. I'm pretty dense. Uh, I could use some chocolate, but I know which offices to raid for their candy bowls. Go get you some chocolate, man. Alright, caught up now. I know that Brits love love to go to cyprus okay awesome it's awesome now that you guys can hang out with me and chat with me enough that i get behind reading the chat again feels good feels good you guys i'm glad you all have joined me for the stream today so today i am making standard box straight up and down cylinder mugs as i make more often than not but I will make something special here in a minute before I wind the stream down. Maybe we'll do like a bigger bowl or something. Or a vase. Whatever you guys want to see me throw. Uh, Cyprus was part of Greece during the time of Alexander the Great, right? I'm not sure. I'm pretty terrible with my history. Especially in that area of the world. Like uh, European history. I actually, like our curriculum changed. I, I never had world history, quote unquote, world history class. Um, so I'm very uneducated in that department because we were supposed to have world history, but I ended up getting two years of Alabama history because they like swapped the curriculum on us. So I had Alabama history in ninth grade and then I had like Alabama history again in like 11th grade. Uh, what grade did you get in history? I got A's. I got A's in history all the way through. Uh, was it better than your physics grade? <laughs> it was indeed better than my physics grade. Hey, Andreas. How you doing, sir? Hey, guys. You got y'all remember Greek mustachio? 
because Andreas is Greek Mustachio from back in the old Twitch days. He's about to have some adventures, some big time adventures coming up. Greek's Grand Adventure, we shall call it. Uh, and you were of, of Greek descent, right, uh, Andreas? I'm <clears throat> good, thanks. Me and I are settling in Canada. Are you guys, have you guys already moved over? I thought it was a little farther down the road. So you're on the same side of the pond as, as I am now. You're just way, uh, you're way, wait, 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 hold up. Which way? Yeah, that way. You're that way. You're more like, mm, no, wait. Yeah, yeah, it's that way. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because it's on like the East Coast. What you're telling me. I just pointed at you, man, if that's where you are. <clears throat> Half Greek from Rhodes of Cyprus. I was correct. I deduced that from your Twitch name. <clears throat> Planthus actually lives in Greece near Mount Olympus. Indeed. Flew in three days ago. Ha <laughs> ha! Awesome. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations to you guys. Uh, and Greek is with, if you guys remember Mini Mac uh, from back on the Twitch, Twitch days. We had, we had a nice, long conversation. What was that, about three weeks ago? A month ago? I don't know, it all kind of runs together. <clears throat> I'm glad you're here, man. And I'm glad you guys got traveled over safely. And you're getting settled in. Just in time for the weather to turn warm, hopefully. It is nice outside today. Duncan, you're still outside, right, man? Because it is fantastic outside. Here, <clears throat> me and I are already talking about coming to visit to buy pottery when the house is built. All right, just give me ample lead time to make some stuff for you and tell me what you need, and I'll get you quoted, get you a bid. Because it takes me some time. And Doc is back inside now. I don't really need to spend any more time in the sun. I'm kind of, get, I'm kind of sunburnt from the weekend. Uh, I'm so proud. My son did had his maiden voyage on the weed eater this weekend, and he was so stoked, so proud of himself. He he didn't want to stop weed eating. I hope that he m maintains that attitude and never wants to stop because I never want to weed eat again. <laughs> uh, no, but he he loved it. He was like. He was super proud. I got an electric one, and it's it go, spins a little bit slower. It's safer and it's lighter weight for him to use. So, but he he can run that thing great. Uh, will do, Mr. Diet Coke man. It's Mr. Diet Coke Eye Candy Man. In fact, don't leave out the rest of that title, or Supreme Allied Commander Chad. <laughs> do you remember that one stream we did? The, the dual stream, we were talking about what people called us, or be, being insulted about not being called by your title or something like that. I think there's a clip of that. Poor morning, Andreas. Don't be surprised if he gives you a gift as well. Hey, hey, don't ruin it. You can't have Bert, though. I'm not giving you Bert. Uh, that's cool. Young lad's first taste of power tools, indeed. Sorry, I forgot that bit. Those were fun times, indeed. Indeed, they were. That's good. I think that's a clip on one of our, one of our channels. I don't know if you were streaming or if I was streaming. It must be. It must be on mine. I need to go back and look at some of those. Good times, fun times. Are you guys? You're setting up a YouTube channel, right? Have you got that going yet? Um, and Greek or Andreas, uh, Roxy is Rack. From Twitch and Duncan, R Rack and Duncan were both a couple of my Twitch moderators back in the day. So you probably had some some interaction with those guys back in the day. 
Sunset says, I'm trying to get more into YouTube. Do you have any tips? I randomly blew up one day, but not as much as I want. I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. Well, why didn't you say so earlier? I'm going to check your stuff out. I'm going to subscribe to your channel right after, um, right after the stream here. Uh, what kind of stuff do you do? And as far as tips, I, I'm just kind of like bumbling. I... <laughs> Uh, things that I've learned, uh, shorts equal subscribers, if you're, you know, if you're doing them, if you get consistent with shorts, um, and the more you do, the more you learn, like, what kind of people enjoy watching based on what, what your craft or what your talent or what, what your subject matter is, your niche, that's the word I was looking for, um, but they don't, it doesn't equate to view time, like it doesn't count as view time. So that's like a whole separate thing. That's what I'm working on right now. So I've got plenty of subscribers, like double the amount of subscribers I need to monetize, but I do not have the watch time. I only have like 900 hours of watch time out of 4,000. Uh, we have the channel set up, but still need to edit the videos. That takes some doing right there. That was the hard thing for me. Uh, not as good as I want to be, but I do ASMR, hit the name. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel for my cat I rescued in 2021. Uh, hey, uh, Sunset, put those links in the in my Discord and share them with us so we can check them out. Uh, Chad's tips for get <laughs> big sexy arms. Sing like Matt Monroe and be handsome. Indeed. Get big sexy arms. And you'll... you'll be famous on YouTube. Apparently. That's how it works. Engage in sh copious shenanigans. Oh. Uh, but I'd love to check out your stuff. But the... Uh, the shorts, just like starting out, if you're if you're like learning to edit and stuff, I'd start with the shorts. That's that's how I did it, and then that translates pretty well to longer videos. Um, it's harder. I, I think it helps to do it that way because it kind of give, gives you an idea of like what you do in the first thirty seconds of a video, like kind of the hook portion. I think it helps with that. Um, and I had a goal of editing one of those and posting one every day, and I still do, and it. It really did help with the video editing stuff. I'm pretty sure his arms are bigger than when he was on Twitch. <laughs> no, actually, I'm about the same size. I've not done any growing in a while. Um, I was leaner uh, probably a month ago uh, because I've coming off, uh, like last year I did a lot of running and I'm actually planning to start running again here presently. Uh, now that the weather's turning, I just like working out outside. Um, but I was probably my biggest in 2017. But ever since then, I've basically been in maintenance, maintenance mode. Uh, winter Duncan, or have big boobs and wear low cut tops and put baby oil on the boobs. <laughs> yeah. That's the secret to success on, on Twitch. Only fans. Uh, since it says my boyfriend bought me a mic, which is currently packed away, I gotta get that out and keep up on videos. Hey, yeah, you just gotta do it. No one's gonna make those videos for you. It's a lot of work, but... Uh, Tan, please read uh, SL. You, you need me to read slower? Maybe I should read slower and more carefully. For Cleanthus, sorry, I get I get in the habit of um, bumbling, and I might have missed something. I tend to miss things too. <clears throat> uh, read slow. I miss things. Okay, I'll try to do that for you, and I'll try to try to speak more clearly. <laughs> I get I get going going with it. Just I'm real bad about mumbling chat as well. Um, which I need to not have that habit on YouTube because a lot of people watch these things without without the chat for context. 
So that would be a good habit for me to have. You guys chastise me if I do a bad job reading. If I keep me uh, keep me reading good. So let's have another would you rather question. Uh, I don't think anybody answered that last one we did. Would you rather live in a world of eternal darkness or eternal light? And I said eternal light. Because you got to be able to see to do the stuff. Uh, Sunset says, there's one thing I love about your lives. You read everything and don't leave anyone out. I try my hardest. Sometimes I miss things. Andreas says, Roger that, boss. He is not opposed to punishing me. I know Greek will keep me honest. Sunset says, darkness. Your name, your name belies that. Andreas says, light. Definitely. Need the light. Or else would we just be bumping into each other all the time. These questions... We noticed this last time, or I, I noticed last time. You guys probably agree. But these questions, depending on what you choose, completely alters the state of humanity. Like, these are like world altering would you rather questions. This is not like, would you rather have a Coke or a Pepsi? Although, to some people, that's a very, very important thing. This is one of my bad bats. Bad bat is bad. Clint says light, and Andreas says, I only punish you when you ask politely. <laughs> Easy now. You're going to get in trouble, dude. Mia's going to be like, Greek, bring it in, man. Since it says I run into walls anyways. Do you do ASMR run into wall streams? Without light, all living things die, except the ones that live in darkness. Did you guys watch The Meg? Have you guys seen that? At the Like they go to the bottom of the Mariana Trench and then under the Mariana Trench there's like a layer of sediment and they bust through the sediment and there's a Megalodon that lives down there. <clears throat> yeah, the question before was having all your dreams come true or avoiding your biggest fears. Yeah, see? Complete world altering. Uh, uh, I wish I could uh, read your name. Uh, uh, can you spell it out phonetically for me? Uh, and I will call you by your name. Is it hard to make pots and vases? The learning curve to making pottery is very steep. It takes a while to get to the point of uh, having proficiency. But once you figure it out, it's, it's really not, not too difficult. It's pretty easy for me now. Uh, let's see, no, no, I doubt, I know I don't, but should I? Oh, is that about the, the running in the walls things? I lost the thread on that one, sorry. Uh, Pena Giotti is phonetically spelled. Let me know if I'm saying that right. Bloodleaf says, I just got a great video of the eclipse while it's looking like a big smile. Oh, how'd you get a video of it? How'd you do that? Oh, nice. I'm Blue uh, Abadie. You're, you're Blue Adabadie? Adabadie, Adabadie? Adabadie, Adabadie, Adabadie? <laughs> Yo, listen up. Here's the story about a little blood leaf who turned his name blue. Yeah, don't put up with shenanigans, man. That's your job. No shenanigans. Andreas says, dreams come true because without fear, we grow slowly. Uh, I can't read that. It's behind the heart. As humans. Slowly as humans. Uh, and blank to blank. Oh, Chad. I'm not sure what that means, Clint. This, I, don't, I, don't guess it, I guess it's not meant for me. I put the glasses over my camera and lifted it slightly off the lens. I tried doing that. It wouldn't work for me. It just looked like the sun, but we did not get... It was like 90%. It wasn't a full eclipse here. Uh, about 25 minutes in, the sun looked like Pac-Man. I had the same thought. 
did indeed look like Pac-Man. Uh, I thought I didn't have any, but we do, thank goodness. Oh, the glasses. But yeah, I remember you saying that earlier now. The thing about turning your name blue is you can't do it yourself. Unless you are a managing moderator. I haven't figured out what those do exactly yet. Does anybody know the, the lowdown on the managing moder moderators? I know they can make moderators and they can choose what naughty words people can say. <clears throat> Calantha says, you have to destroy the name. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I lost the thread. Uh, and Andre says, we just finished our eclipse here. Yeah, we, we haven't been done for a super long time. That lasted longer than I thought it would. I, I ended the stream a little sooner than I should have, but I got a nice long walk in with my mags. So that was cool. <sighs> I think they can make poles too, not sure exactly. Oh, poles are cool. I gotta look into that. Bloodleaf says, but you gotta focus on the camera and turn up the shadows. So I did that. I turned my camera to pro, and then I messed with the um, the all the settings and the focus, and I still couldn't get it to, to work. I think we it was still too bright for us. Um, it looks like about seven o'clock at night here. It never got like super uh, super dark, but it was a uh, about ninety percent. Eclipses are always cool. Indeed. We have to wait a while for the next one. Uh, Bloodly says, also, don't have the glasses directly over the lens. Slightly lift it off. See, I did not try that. I kind of moved it around a little bit. Milkshake 101. Welcome back to you. Glad you're here. It would be cool if you made a total eclipse plate. I want to make a total eclipse plate, like like make a plate and then cut a sliver and put it over the plate, something like that. I didn't make a plate today. Uh, it's a well, it's a plywood thing. I, I recorded a short of it. I'll show you guys. I'd call it more of a platter, but this is gonna be one of my short. I almost just dropped it, man. That'd be not good. But where is? It's like bullseye plate. Uh. Uh, I'll share what I got in Discord, but it might lose quality. Yeah, man, throw it in there. It'd be cool. So long till. Okay, I'm missing stuff. My translator says the name is Pangiotis Mavro Mavrosos. <laughs> Why are you talking about me? <clears throat> We're trying to figure out how to say your name. Uh, Clint says welding mask worked for Eclipse. Yeah, I was talking to my Megs about that. I was, when I was wearing the little cardboard. I need to go get those. I'll wear those while I'm making mugs. Can't see anything. Um, but we were talking about the welding mask probably worked pretty great. And it'd keep you safe from flying debris as well, just in case. Uh, ooh, an Eclipse plate with a smiley face. Indeed, I wonder what the market for eclipse plates would be. If I can mark some. I, I, I survived the eclipse of 2024. That's kind of a, a common thing around here for people to wear. Like, I survived the tornadoes of 2011. That's pretty nasty tornadoes here in 2011. Uh, Rex talking to Penagiotis. I'm probably saying that all kind of wrong. Number 14, Shade Welder, though. Make sure it's the right grade, indeed. And Penangiotis says, okay. Man, I am totally saying that wrong. There's no way I'm saying that right. <laughs> Rack says, yeah, guy here was using a welder mask. He, he just wanted to look cool. He's like, cardboard is for babies. Milkshake says, about the plate. Maybe an indent about three quarters out. I don't really know, but it sounds cool. I think I'll probably just make some mugs. I have a problem with plates, and my problem with plates is they take up too much space in the kiln, and I can't get as much money for them as I feel like I should for the kiln's real estate. Because my kilns basically go like nonstop, constant. I can fit like 100 mugs in each of my kilns, 
and they stay full up pretty much all the time. But I can charge more for like big bowls than I can for plates, if that makes sense. Colorful Painter says, hello. Hello, Colorful Painter. Welcome back to you. Glad to see you. Uh, have you had a good day and did you have a good weekend? Did you get to see the eclipse? No, wait, you are in France, if I recall correctly. It's a Greek name. That's why. That's why I can't say it. Someone could help me spell it out phonetically. I might be able to say it. Uh, Mrs. Unnecessary. Happy Monday. Happy Monday indeed to you. Have you ever made yarn bowls? Yeah. Yeah, I've made yarn bowls. Um, if you would like for me to make you a yarn bowl, hit me up on our Etsy shop. I can totally make a yarn bowl. Mine have uh, this this face. They kind of look like this guy. Here, let me do it over there. I don't want to drop it. They look like this guy. This is about the same size that they are too. They're pretty big. And then the mouth. And part of the mouth, there's a little hole in in this front part of the mouth. And then on the back, there is a spiral that goes like kind of like that. So that you're, you can hook your yarn in the back or you can put to the hole in the front. I don't stock them because they're a pretty specialty item. I don't do a ton of them, but I do those custom order uh, for custom orders. And I'll make it on my customs. What I do is you request it. I'll give you the price and then I'll make it if you approve it. And then you don't have to buy it until you actually see it. I'll send pictures of it and then you can say, yay, I like it. And if you don't like it, you'd be like, oh, I hate it, and I don't want it, and I'll just sell it to somebody else. So it's cool. Um, and those run, those big, big yarn bowls run about $120, depending on where you are shipping. You know, it's more expensive to, like, Europe. But uh, In Clanthus, I'm talking fast again, aren't I? I'm going to try to slow down again. Uh, Milkshake says I crochet all the time. Uh, there's another person that hangs out, and she hung out with me back in the day on um, Twitch as well, Recycle Rainbow. She's uh, Avocado Lemmings on here. And she crochet, uh, she makes money crocheting, and goes to shows and stuff. Uh, and Grease Tea, oh, my mouth, I need to move my mouse. <clears throat> it sound, uh, it sound Grease to you. It says, Chad, it's pronounced Panayotu. Panayotu? Okay, I'm going to try to say it that way. Colorful Painter says, I did not see the eclipse. My weekend was calm. Time goes so fast. Indeed, the weekend flew by. We were so busy. Uh, this is unnecessary. I'm looking for a large one like that. You're the first potter I've known to make them that large. I'm so happy. I'm an inner. Yeah, hit me up. Hit me up on... Um, if you go to my channel, there is a, um, a link to my Etsy shop on there, and you can just send me a message, and I'll make you I'll make you one. Uh, that one there is about I think about nine inches wide. I can make them as big as you need. Um, Andrea says, "Does any of the old crowd hang out here?" Yeah, uh, Rack does. Duncan does. Um, let's see. Snackies has been in here. Who else has been in here? Uh, Avocado Lemmings. She's uh, Recycled Rainbow. Uh, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Uh, someone else has been here. I'll think of them here in a minute. Uh, a couple of painters. Painter says, how was your weekend? It was excellent. So I had a bro down with my son on Friday, and we ate frozen pizza and chicken nuggets, played video games, and then on Saturday it was his birthday party, so we hosted like 25 people at our house, and then yesterday we had a wedding to go to, and it was cool. It was like an outdoor wedding in this bamboo forest, and the food was actually Greek and delicious. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm getting behind. Uh, no, that's not it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't do it right. It was closer. Oh, keep trying to spell it phonetically. 
Have you ever made a cat themed bowl? Uh, I have cat themed mugs and yes, I've made cat themed bowls. I don't know that I've made cat themed yarn bowl, but I can totally do it. And if you send me the message on there, I will send you pictures of my cat mugs so you get an idea of my cat faces. There may be some on the website right now if you go to the animals section. Uh, and why do you have a doll on the machine? This is Bert, he's my friend. And he just hangs out with me. I have him because he's one of my old toys from when I was a kid. And he drives my wife crazy. She, she's like, get rid of that thing. And I'm like, no. He makes people uncomfortable. So he stays. Uh, let's see. Uh-oh. I'm getting behind. Mia still talks to Zilla. Uh, oh, wait. This is unnecessary. Thank you so much. We're in the middle of a move. As soon as we're settled, I will get in touch. Mia still talks to Zilla. I I'm still follow Zilla, Zilla on um, Instagram. Folks, it says like a bowl with ears on the rim and a little face. Um, I can put the ears on the rim, but they're it's more durable if they're lower, if they're actually down. Uh, but we can talk about it. This unnecessary it says busy weekend. Indeed, it was indeed. Coffee painter says yeah, that sounds busy. Indeed, it was. That's just said indeed a whole bunch. Greek food is amazing. That's coming for someone that's mostly Italian. Greek food is delicious and um, it's healthy, healthier-ish, typically. I guess depending on what you get, but the food we had at the wedding was, it was very refreshing. Usually here at a Southern wedding, we have like hardcore unhealthy food, but this was, this was very uh, good stuff. Uh, Mia has been given the Greek family recipes by my cousins. I'll have to send you some. Yeah, man. I like Greek. Uh, that's great. I was on a little vacation. Oh, what did you do? My Greek friend who I cannot say the name. I'm going to call you P for short because it starts with a P. And I can't mispronounce a P. He's an action figure. But he's not a doll. <laughs> no. No, Bloodleaf. I'm offended. Sunset says Bert is famous. Okay. Another thing about Bert. Bert is also a mascot, Clantha says. Yes. But... He hides in all of my videos. So my normal videos, my, my sideways videos, and my shorts, he's always hiding. So he's back there, or I mean, he's, and the first person to find him gets a point. If you find him, you just let me know in the comments that you found him, like, or on our Discord, you can circle it and send the picture. Uh, I just subscribed. Hey, thanks so much for that. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Bloodleaf, let's be honest, Italian food is also amazing. Oh, okay guys. I have not encountered a genre of food that I didn't like. I mean, I can't think of one off the top of my head. The food is just good. Um, you guys say gyro or gyro? Uh, I am a country bumpkin, so I would say gyro. <clears throat> It's stealth person. <laughs> yeah, Bert is a stealth person, for sure. Uh, I was in Italy in October. Oh, I'd like to go to Italy. Uh, how many points do you have in a gold-plated wee wee button? We haven't figured out the prize for those. We talked about there being a wheel, and you have to. Bert has to spin, and then when the when it lands on a certain thing, that's what you get. I'm trying. I'm going to decide by the end of the week. But uh, so far, Bloodleaf is winning. I think Bloodleaf's got like seven points already. Your row, your row. Sunset says Italy is one of my dream places to go to. If I was going to pick one place in Europe, I would probably pick Italy. Uh, Teddy, no saying that makes me rage. I know, I know. You want me to go to England, but that would, it's it's toss up. We'll change my tune since you're here, but then as soon as you leave, I'll say Italy again. Uh, now, England would be cool too, but I'd be interested to see, um, you know, the birthplace of the birthplace of Western civilization. Going to Rome would be quite cool. <clears throat> uh, where have you been in Europe? I have not been. Me, I've never been to Europe. It'd be very cool. Oh, the Eurovision contest is coming soon. I don't know what that is. I probably should, but I don't. Uh, Jiro's with Dajiki. Dajiki? I don't know what that is. 
How fast does the machine go? This fast. If I did that with a bowl on there, the bowl would go flying. You guys want me to use centrifugal force to destroy something? Because I will. I gotta get some more clay. What time is it? 3.13. Alright, bear back. Oh wait, 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 hold up. Just gotta entertain you guys while I'm gone. There, be entertained. I got some clay! It's actually raining right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh boy. Poor Burton is gonna vomit. All right, let's see. Where was I? How fast does the machine go? I read that one, but not with Bert on it. Ooh, rub a hole in him if I do that. Um, faster! I did. Uh, your face pottery reminds me of the Appalachian, Appalachian, I can't say that word, and I'm from here. <laughs> Appalachian face jugs in the North Carolina mountains. Indeed. It's kind of loosely based on Civil War era face pottery, but I like the silly, silly stuff. All right, that didn't land where it was supposed to, but that's okay. All right, and... <laughs> helicopter, helicopter. Uh, yogurt with gar yogurt with garlic. Well, um, they had the um, the Greek sauce at the wedding. They had was was kind of like that. That's probably what that was. It was delicious, tasty. And they eat a lot of lamb. I like lamb, but we had chicken at the wedding. And some kind of veg vegetarian something or other. Uh, Eurovision contest is a singing competition for all European countries. Ah. Is that like a televised event? Since it says, where do you get your clay from? My clay comes from North Carolina, a place called High Water Clays. Uh, this is kind of a gritty stoneware clay body. It's a, kind of a general purpose stoneware. Uh, you can use it for throwing or sculpture, hand building. All right, I think that's about all we'll get get done today. Tatsiki, Tatsiki. Hey, the um, the restaurant the that catered the wedding was called Tatsiki's. Is that what that's from? Tatsiki. I know it's like a chain here, but uh, this is unnecessary. I am from North Carolina. Oh, very cool. I'm gonna get you to pick my clay up and bring it to me. They won't have to pay freight. Because that stuff's expensive. All right, let's make something out of the ordinary since I have some clay in bigger chunks here. Uh, hello, Mini Mac. Welcome to you. Another person from the old days of Twitch. The olden Twitch days. Oh no, Greek's in trouble. Hello, new friend. I will call you Kate because your name looks like Kate. The wife has arrived. You better behave now, dude. My wife left just a little while ago, so I can be Norte. You're so Norte. <clears throat> Where is it? I'm just outside of Fayetteville. I think it's in Asheville. I think. I'd have to look. Zatziki. I pronounce it Zatziki. You should make the tiniest bowl or mug. But I got a big chunk of clay. All right, you know, I'll make something tiny. All right, here's. This is about the size of a smaller. It's like half of a golf ball. I'll make something tiny. I'll make something bigger. Uh, how are you, bud? I'm well. How are you? He's starting to talk like Greek because he says bud. 
Did you learn that from him? Or have you always said bud? Uh, Fida or fella. I guess that's what that is. It means hi in Greek. And Kate says, yes. Yes. Oh, Lord, that's our for me in the mountains. I'm in eastern North Carolina. And Sunset laughed at something, but I probably don't know what it was. <laughs> I probably said something stupid. Which is my way. And Clantha says, hi, Katerina. Ah, oh, Katerina. I can, I can uh, pronounce that. Can you make me a shot glass? I don't drink, but I like small pieces of pottery. Yeah, man, I can make you a shot glass. And Sarum says, hello from Germany. Germany. Hello, Sarum. Welcome to you. Glad you're here. Clantha says, hi. But as Canadian, he stole from me. Yeah, I can see him doing something like that. That's cultural appropriation. Greek man. And it is unacceptable. I have been told in this day and age... I think this may be the smallest thing I've ever made, and you guys know what it is, right? Can you guess what this is that I made? What purpose does this piece of pottery serve? <clears throat> Just for the stream, I don't actually need it. <laughs> Just for right now. Uh, I'm laughing because you're making a tiny bowl or mug, even though you had a big piece of clay. You made me do it! I didn't know you were getting paid for this, Sunset. This is this is all for you. And Bert. <laughs> it's a Bert hat. Uh, Bloodleaf guessed it. Oh, I can't get I can't get it off the wheel without breaking it. Oh, it's just barely misshapen. It's alright. See? Perfect. Now his ears won't get cold. It's Bert's cup. No, it's Bert's hat. Bert's cup would be even smaller. It's a mug coffee for Bert. All right, hold up. Hold up, I'm getting behind. Sarum says, that reminds me of my vacation in Cappadocia, Turkey. Oh, that's cool. Sounds like a cool vacation. This is unnecessary. Got to start dinner. Great stream, company, and unbelievable talent. Have a great Monday, love bugs. Hey, thanks for being here. Please come back and see us again. Hey, also, if you want to join the Discord, we, we chat often in the Discord. You can join it via the link in my on my channel. There's a link to it there. He's got a beanie. Bert's helmet for when he's spinning. Yes. Bert hat. Uh, how do you get the clay off your hands? I wash my hands a lot. So if I, ever, if I have to get up and go to the bathroom, I have to wash my hands before I go to the bathroom. And it, it just comes off with water. It's, uh, it's really no big deal. Uh, oh, wow. Caught up. Man, this has been awesome, you guys. The uh, the chat has been so busy. This is, I think, the busiest chat stream I've had thus far on the YouTube. Uh, busiest chat stream I've had in a long, long time. Uh, Bloodleaf says, board, join the Discord. Hey, you guys can send links now. Thanks for doing that, man. I totally forgot that you guys could do that. Still can't post links. Uh, it, I can see the link on my end. Did it uh, block you? Because I can totally see it. <clears throat> it's that easy. Rack sees the link. Maybe just the mods can see it. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, what are we going to make? This is a slightly larger piece of clay. How about like a little, um, little real vertical vase? Are you on phones or PCs? I am on both. I'm streaming from my phone, but reading chat on a PC. Uh, Sir says, do you usually go live at this time? It's 10.21 p.m. for me, so I'm going to head to bed. We'll have to catch you live some other day. Bye, everyone. Uh, I'm usually live way earlier than this. So I'm usually at 12 Central, 12 or 12.30 Central time. And I'm planning to be back tomorrow. I'm going to try to stream every day this week. Uh, depending on where I land as far as getting these mugs put together. But I should be back. Even if I don't get them all put together, I'll probably just stream for a while anyways. Uh, three people got out the live. 
still seems busy to me. The my viewer count, I don't think that's very accurate at all. Because when I go and look look at it after the fact later on, it's always different. So I just kind of take that as like not what it actually is. Uh, let's see, phone, no PC. Okay, it's just me who can who can see the link being clicked. Caught up. So you can see who who clicks on the Discord link, Bloodleaf. If so, that's cool. It's good to know. All right, let's close it in. So I'm great. The earlier the better for me. Have fun. A great day. Hey, thanks for being here. If you haven't haven't already, I'm assuming you subscribe, but please do. And um, if you hit notifications, you'll see when I go live. Um, and hope to see you again. Uh, I love this chat. Yes, I'm going to come again. Yay! I'm glad to hear it. I love this chat too. Bloodleaf, you create beautiful music. Indeed. Yeah, you guys check Bloodleaf out. He has a YouTube channel and makes music. Um, also, uh, hey Greek, is your channel gonna be your name or what's what's your channel name? Uh, Greek's just just now starting a channel with his wife. They're gonna be doing some homesteading in rural Canada, if I understood correctly. Let me uh, shout that out, man. Get some folks ready, locked and loaded, ready to watch your content. And that content in the early days, we get to watch it from its infancy. I know my first few videos were real, real rough. And I think that's just a rite of passage. You guys may not have that, though. So you have experience in the streaming. I know I did. Even with the experience, it was still rough. <laughs> Uh, do you mind if I link it here? No, I don't mind at all. Link away. I don't know if it'll let you link it. You might have to pass it on to uh, put it in my Discord in the general chat, and then Bloodleaf can grab it and, and post it. <clears throat> or Rat can. Either one of those guys. I could guess I could get up and make you a moderator. Uh, 20 Acre Wood NB. I can't wait to see you guys' rough start. Oh, it let me. There you go. Yeah, you guys follow 20 Acre Wood NB. And be ready. Be ready for those first amazing videos. I just realized that the doll's wearing the cup on his head. <laughs> we, in, around here, we don't call him a doll. He's an action figure. Bert gets, he's offended at being called a doll. He's sensitive. Like so many people these days, he gets his feelings hurt very easily. <clears throat> Andreas says, bless you, brother. Welcome. Anytime. You pop in here anytime and you promote your stuff anytime, my friend. Promote to your heart's desire. Well, just don't get spammy with it. <clears throat> this first videos will be of an old man with an aching back and tripping over logs. <laughs> but here, it'll be your transformation into lumberjack, burly, burly bearded man. I hope you're growing your beard out pretty long. Did I, did you have a beard last time I talked to you? I saw you last time. I feel like you'd like shaved or something. <clears throat> Oh, an action figure. Yeah, he's an action figure, not a doll. <laughs> Getting it. That should, we should set some stream rules. Yes, the beard has been grown. Good, good, good. Any self-respecting Canadian man should have a beard. That's why I could not be a Canadian man, because I cannot grow a beard. This is like all there is. That's why I'm down here in the south. This is because I'm part Native American. This is like the Native American facial hair pattern. That'll do. I may turn that into just like a giant mug. I think I'll put a, ha a handle on that and be like a big beer tankard. 
That'd be good. <clears throat> Andreas, I can't find that YouTube channel. Uh-oh. We'll straighten that out. My son says I now look like Kratos from God of War. Do you have a shaved head as well? Wait, it worked with the at sign. Well, there you go. Sometimes it takes it takes YouTube a while to get everybody like populated in search. So if it's still pretty new, it's gonna be a bit. Uh, coming back later, okay? Yeah, please do. Uh, I'll probably be winding down pretty soon. Here, by about 30 minutes, I'll be wound down. But I hope to see you in the next one. Probably be live again tomorrow. Definitely, for sure, be live again Wednesday. And it'll be earlier in the day. This is late for me. Um, so, I hope to see you again. Thanks for being here and for chatting and all that stuff. And for calling Bert an action figure. He feels better now. <coughs> he does have a shaved head with a beard. Just no head tattoo. Well, that's good. Although, I think he looked cool with a head tattoo. I think I was the 10th subscriber. Oh, man. I gotta go subscribe, too. Hey, Greek, will you throw that in my Discord as well? In the general chat so I remember to go subscribe to your channel and so that everyone else can see it as well in all its glory. Whoever still sees my Discord. It's, a little, it's still a little bit lonely. We're building it back up. It's mostly people searching for Bert right now, which is cool. I totally dig that. Although, uh, we've had some uh, art posts and stuff. It's very cool seeing that coming back to life. Uh, yay! He's putting it in the Discord general suite. Awesome possum. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys' stuff. Uh, as another thing, oh yeah, Sunset, are you still here? You were asking about YouTube advice earlier. Vertical live streams, YouTube is promoting the, the stew out of them right now. So if you start a channel and you're like messing around in the woods and you like just do a vertical live stream, which Greek's good, good at live streams. Uh, Mini Mac, you've done some live streams too, right? Um, you did art live streams. I'm like 99% sure you did. Um, but if you guys did that, that may be a good initial way to start building viewership and uh, and subscribers. Um, this one, the two streams I've done today have been a bit smaller. Uh, let's see, the the last three in a row I did, I did like a thousand views, 20 hours of watch time. Uh, so I have, yep, you're right. And Andrea says, good idea, thank you. Yeah, you guys should do that. You know, especially if you're like walking around looking at stuff, you know, doing interesting things, maybe talking about plans or getting it going. I think that'd be a cool, cool stream to see. Or if Greek is doing some lumberjack stuff. <clears throat> Bloodleaf says, I need ideas for live streaming music stuff, cooking up some stuff. I think that the, uh, man, those puppets you showed me were really cool. I think a, uh, like, some if you could combine that concept with your music somehow. By the way, guys, Bloodleaf makes puppets, and they're really cool. Um, I think that'd be neat. Like, we were kind of chatting back and forth, but I guess it's hard to, to just type it all out. But I was envisioning you, like, like you put, up, put out a song, and the music video to the song is you, like, assembling the puppet. And then at the end of the song maybe the puppet is like specifically made for the song and to dance to the song at the end of it i don't know i think that'd be like add like an, an interesting visual twist on your on your music <clears throat> mini max says it's gonna be uh figuring out wi-fi in order to live stream oh man is the cell reception okay there because you could stream over that cell uh 5G is pretty good nowadays. <clears throat> Andreas says, good idea for the puppet and music. Yeah, I think that'd be awesome. Sunset says, I added both YouTube channels to Discord. Awesome. Thank you for doing that. 
And were you here when I was talking about the live stream bit at Sunset? I forgot to say that to you earlier. The vertical lives are have been really good for me. <clears throat> uh, probably is. We're properly in the boonies. On the road, it's okay. Once you get into the trees, pretty much gone. Hmm. Well, there's a way you guys could boost your signal. Uh, you may have to build yourself an antenna, Greek. Build a giant tower. Get a big old Yagi antenna. So, like this. Pretend like this. This is your land, and then you get this like right here and you, you build a tower something like that see and then this is you Greek except you're smaller and you build the tower and then you construct an antenna that points towards civilization you get your antenna you live stream and you put a hat on to keep your bald head from <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hold on to it anymore. Uh, I almost, almost could do it. I, I got a visual of you. Lumberjack. Like, I, I, I imagined this pine tree constructed tower. Like, you cut down all these trees and you made this giant tower just so you get internet to the Canadian wilderness. Oh, I'm, I'm getting behind. Uh, uh, I might need to make videos out of those, but I could live stream the process. Yeah, do that, man. Put 1K subs now. They seem to be working. But also your shorts are doing crazy good. Oh, man, I got to talk about my other short, my weekend short, when I get caught up. I've been in and out, went to make food, because this girl acts like she doesn't eat. Hey, you got to feed that baby. <laughs> Greek says, is that an antenna or a death ray? Both. It's 5G. It could it controls your mind um, with the with the chips and COVID vaccine that like connects to it and, and rules the world. Uh, <laughs> you leave my old man bald head alone. Hi, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Glad you're here. That was quick. I, I think you said that a minute ago, and I read it, but then I was like in the middle of a spiel, and I forgot to respond. Sorry about that. Welcome back to you. Um, anyways, short over the weekend. I made it short over the weekend and I put a little more time into it than I normally did. And I uh, played guitar in it and it completely and totally, based on my other things that I've made, completely torpedoed into the ground and did terribly. I put so much time into that one. And uh, when I showed it to Meg, she was just like laughing her ass off and I got tons of comments on it. But YouTube didn't show it to anybody, and the watch time was terrible on that one compared to all of my other ones, um, which is fine. I mean, I really enjoyed making it, and I thought it was funny and stuff. But I think what happened, there's, I think that it's twofold. I think that European audience did not catch the reference of the, the song, because it's like American pop culture reference, and young people did not, because that's an old-ass movie, and young people have no idea what, what I'm even talking about. <clears throat> the poor action figure's arm. <laughs> yeah, he's dirty. Uh, but I think that's what happened with that one. But a 10 out of 10 would make that kind of video again because I got a pretty good laugh out of my Megs and all the comments and stuff. I played a uh, Rack Says Witch video, and Bloodleaf says it's well worth the time for me. Uh, I played Unchanged Melody on guitar while I made a bowl and just made like creepy faces at the camera while I was making it. Clearly says repost it again in a month with different tags and title, except next time replace some clips with shots from the movie so it's not the same exact video. Yeah, or I could kind of recut it. I probably will leave it though. I probably just won't mess with it. I think it's probably the reference thing because a lot of the audience is younger and also uh, European. So um, I'm going to stick with what works because I got to make some table space. The. Um, I spend way less time doing just just like throwing a thing to hide Bert somewhere throw a thing and, they, and if they get more views and subscribers that I mean might as well <clears throat> Andrea says saw that video crack me up uh, he needs a bath he does need a bath yeah, Bert's getting a bath <sighs> there he's got to lean over he's gonna wear his hat so he's because the water's kind of cold at least part of his body will stay warm. 
that's a tip for you, Greek, up for up in Canada. You keep your hat on if you're getting into like the, the hot springs or something. That way your head stays warm. Poor Bert. <laughs> it does look like a bonnet. Uh, it, it's it's not a bonnet. We're gonna smooth it over. And we're gonna put put this on it. It's it's a beanie. Uh, it was such a chaotic short. It was right up my alley for humor. Yeah, that's like my style of humor too. It's funny. I do those videos every now and then with my like just ridiculous sense of humor because I, I like random, just random ridiculous shenanigans. Um, like said, so some of my shorts will be like sporadically through, like especially some of my earlier ones. It was kind of more zany, but um, I have to. I can't do this all the time because if I want my videos to do anything successful, I need to just do straight up pottery, I suppose. <clears throat> the man with the perfect hair picking on a ball. I'm not picking on you, man. I'm just saying stay warm. It's cold in Canada. Uh, do your hands hurt when you make the pots? They do not, but every now and then sometimes of the year and depending on how much I make they do get a little bit raw uh, like I get dry skin sometimes but I just have to uh, take care like put, put lotion on them and I, sometimes I throw gloves on <clears throat> Bloodleaf says I get my humor from Jim Carrey types hmm. well, where I don't know where I would how I would describe my humor. Colorful painter says, strong muscles. Indeed, Bert is super strong. Yeah! Put your bicep out, Bert. Uh, dude, I landed and then it dumped snow. <laughs> I was freezing. I told you, dude. Canada, wear a hat. You have to wear a hat. Not making fun. You just need a hat. Aubrey says, what's your favorite thing you have made? Oh man, that is a tough question. I need to formulate a good answer for that. I really got to sit down and do some thinking because I've made a whole bunch of stuff. Also, welcome to you, Aubrey. I'm glad you're here. Um, hmm. Favorite thing that I have made. It was probably a set of pottery that I made a few years ago. I finally, I've been doing this for a long time and I'd always used like the things that were kind of messed up a little bit. So, like if I had a mug and had like a tiny crack in it or a little blemish in the glaze, like I would take those home and just use those myself because I wouldn't didn't want to sell those. So that was basically our dinnerware for years and years. And then a couple of years ago, I finally got around. I was thinking about something I could do for my wife for our anniversary, and I made this huge dinnerware set. And it's all in our green glaze. I really always loved that glaze. So that's probably my favorite thing I ever made is our dinnerware set at home. And I mean, it's like. A comprehensive set of everything. I have many hats. They are all in the boxes being shipped from England. <laughs> oh man. You know they make stores. There are hat stores. You need a nice Canadian hat. I can ship you a hat. I have one of those um, can't I don't know what they're called but they're like the Russian flappy ear hats. Mini Mac says, have you ever done a teapot? I've done several teapots, but my teapots are not very good because you have to have a specific, you, you gotta train in teapots and I've not done that. Um, not really train in teapots, but they take a lot of practice because nobody likes a dribbling teapot and the teapots I have made have been dribbling teapots. <clears throat> Can you ship me a burp on it? <laughs> I'll make you, make you a clay hat. Totally do that. The bird on it may be a thing. We have some knitters in here, or we have had some knitters in here in the chat that can knit you a hat. Styled after the bird on it. Hey, we have not done another Would You Rather. We've done one this entire stream, and I've been going for an hour and 20 minutes for part two of this stream. Uh, 
what's the hardest, uh, Aubrey says, what's the hardest thing to make for you? Um, probably like the real tall vertical things are the hardest thing to make. And that's probably true for a lot of potters. Um, once I get up over about mm, 10 to 12 pounds of clay, like the real tall stuff is difficult. I can handle big bowls. I can make giant bowls, but um, super tall vertical things, I'd say probably the hardest for me. <clears throat> Rack says, I was looking, wow, that Halloween video got really got big. Yeah, that was my one outlier video. That's my biggest short. Um, Andrea says, good idea, Mia. We need an Uggs teapot with her Ugg mugs. Probably not. My teapots are not very good. I try. I'll make you one, but it might dribble. <clears throat> Blowleaf says, a burnt mug is your normal face mug with black hair painted on top and a clay mustache added. I have mugs that have a mustache. Let me find one. I don't think I got one in the dark color. Oh, here's a. Uh, here's one with a light colored mustache. When I do these, kind of it kind of needs the part, the hair part. Since there's an opening up there, I don't know. I hadn't figured out the whole hair thing. I don't know that I've ever given a mug hair aside from facial hair. Uh, let's see. All right, where are we at now? Not the type of mustache you already have on the thin one. Oh, oh, oh on the like the handlebar mustache we're talking about. Need more mugs with candles inside, I guess. I need to do some candle pouring. I've never done that. I have the supplies. We've been thinking about it and talking about it, but just never got around to it. Zebulon Pottery, let's go! First live stream since Twitch. Hey, Zebulon, welcome to you, sir. Hey, guys, if you like my stream, you should follow Zebulon Pottery. He is also a potter, and are, are you going to be doing live streams on YouTube? He's, he is a YouTuber. He does YouTube videos. But check him out. Um, he used to hang out with us back in the day on the old Twitch. <laughs> Dribbling is okay, matches me when I sleep. <laughs> Is that true, Mini Mac? Uh, I'm new in the channel. I subscribe and I love it. Man, I'm so glad you're here. P is what, what I'm calling you. I think, I think that's still you. I, I, I don't have the... I can't read the Greek. <clears throat> yeah, I know you have mustache mugs. How I like them. Sorry, chat's a little delayed for me. I'm getting behind. Aubrey says, I got to go, but I subbed. Bye. See you, Aubrey. I'm glad you joined us today. Thanks for being here. Zebulon says, I planned my first live this Thursday. Ooh. Guys, follow Zebulon Pottery. We got to throw that in the Discord as well. Um, or we, uh, Bloodleaf or one of, the, one of the mods can link it. Link his channel in chat to check you out, man. Do you know what you're going to be doing on live? You're going to be throwing, uh, throwing specific things or just kind of whatever. Um, but Zebulon actually does, I think, I think he does classes, does a bit of production pottery and classes at his studio. And, and, am I getting that right? You feel free to describe and chat and I'll read it out. There you go. Bloodleaf's got you a link. But I'm glad you got things going now. It seems like back in the day on, tw or on Twitch, you were kind of like just getting started out. Because you were um, Joe Bruce. Joe Bruce, set your gaming. Didn't you have a game stream before Pottery? Correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. It's been a few years. My favorite fun fact uh, is that Connexus is the name Little River Pottery. That's my holding, holding company's name. Oh, yeah. I remember that now. Hey, I still have the, that Etsy account. If you need it, hit me up. Because it's just like sitting there not being used right now. Um... We can pass it, pass it off to you if you need it. <clears throat> I teach classes and I plan on throwing. Joe Bruce is my gamer tag. See, I remembered, and I remember that fun fact as well. Uh, we named it Little River Pottery back in the day. That was going to be like our serious line of pottery, but then we realized that it wasn't a good idea to have two different lines of pottery. So we put our serious stuff in with our silly stuff and it worked better. <clears throat> Can you tell a joke 
to understand your humor. <laughs> I'm so bad at jokes. Okay. Why did Darth Vader cross the road? I'm waiting on someone in chat to get it. To get to the dark side. Ha <laughs> ha! Beat you guys to it. Yep, that's my humor right there. <laughs> to get to the... <laughs> nice, Rack. That's actually good right there. See, see, Rack's humor is better than my humor. Oh, man. He did not get the high ground. That's how he became Darth Vader. Uh, Bert, Bert is my sense of humor. Hey, let's do a Would You Rather. We still only have only done the one. This we're gonna get serious now. Ooh, that one's real serious. Would you rather witness your own death and know when it will happen, or live twice as long but not know when you'll die? I would want to not know. I don't want to know. If that, was, if that was offered to me, I'd nope out of that, man. What do you guys think? <clears throat> why did... Uh, let's see, FK. All right. Uh, why did Anakin Skywalker cross the river of lava? Uh, well... He ended up getting cooked. To get cooked? I don't know. I hadn't heard this one before. To get to the dark side. Yeah, I'm just still thinking about that question. <laughs> I kind of have to strike it. Yeah, I definitely, definitely live twice as long, but not know. I would not want to know. I like not knowing. Is there any benefits in knowing? I guess you could just kind of like <clears throat> not care, you know, maybe throw off some of your cares and, you know, YOLO. <clears throat> Insert Rack's answer here to get to the high ground. But he wasn't trying to get to the high, well, Obi-Wan was occupying the high ground. Anakin did not want the high ground. He wanted to murder Obi-Wan. His, his goal was he, he, it was hubris. That was his downfall. He thought that he could not be defeated. Although, he was super talented and very powerful Jedi, wannabe Jedi Knight. His confidence was his downfall. <clears throat> Who was on the high ground. Touche. <laughs> Pride cometh before the fall. I like how we're starting to, we're getting into some Star Wars discussion. We better not go too far into the Star Wars discussion or I will get depressed because of the, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> Disney ruined Star Wars. Would you rather lose all your friends or all your money and possessions? All of my money and possessions. No question. That's a stupid question. Would you rather have a peaceful life without drama or an exciting life full of challenges and adventures? Definitely challenges and adventures. <clears throat> Baby Yoda! Still, they, I mean, The Mandalorian first season was pretty good, but it went downhill. <clears throat> There's actually a scene where he's fighting Obi-Wan and tries to cut off his hands the same way he did Dooku, but he blocks him from doing so. Small details like that made it great. Um, yeah, they were good. The second three, now in comparing them to the latest trilogy, they, they, they're better now, I will say. Nice hair. Oh, well, thank you. You talking about my hair? I, and fun fact about me, I do my own haircuts. I've been cutting my own hair for uh, hmm, years now. And sometimes, 
I have a big time dud of a haircut. This one was not bad, and I actually need one right now. And he, and he may be talking about Bert. So this this is a hat, it's not hair, so. <clears throat> the originals are the best three. The next three were, three were good. New ones I won't watch. Have you watched them at all? I've watched them just because I used to be a big time Star Wars fan. I used to have, well, I still have. I still have all my Star Wars action figures from when I was a kid. Um, my son plays with them now. Actually, my son tends to break them. <laughs> they're, they're a lot old and brittle now. I had my big TIE fighter. <clears throat> And I brought it home and said, here you go, play with this. And within five minutes, he had that thing broken. <laughs> it's like, dang, man. Uh, let's see. I only watched recaps online, and I don't want to see them. That's good. That's good. Good job. Hey, thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, I cut my hair, and I cut my son's hair. And it saves a bunch of money. Saves like 20 bucks a pop on a haircut. The, the initial set of clippers that we bought, which broke. Funny story about that. Um, until that minute. The initial set of clippers we bought were only $20. And I was like, wow, I might as well get these because they cost the same amount as a haircut. They're just like, they, well, haircuts back then were like $15 or something. I was like, wow. I get many haircuts out of these. But that did come back to bite me. Um... <clears throat> Blood leaf says you cut your own hair. Yeah, yeah, cut my own hair. And Andrea says haircuts have become so expensive. Yes, they are. Indeed. You did great. Looks awesome. Hey, thanks, man. It's a little long right now. When I cut my hair, I, I cut the ever living stew out of it. Like I cut the side without even a guard when I do the sides. <clears throat> no barber in need. Indeed. If I ever want to stop making pottery, I'll just open a barber shop. I can do one haircut, and it's this one. <laughs> I could probably handle your haircut, Bloodleaf. You know, just you just come inside and you pay me, and you just walk out the door. <laughs> See you next month. Just don't cut my hair. I need to go. It's quitting time. Oh man, what time is it? It's almost four o'clock. Hey man, I appreciate you hanging with me today. And thanks for being a moderator and keeping me safe. I'm, I'm waiting now. I'm ready. I'm ready for the trolls to come. Because I'm equipped. I'm, I'm ready to do battle with them. Because I have soldiers in the war. In the, in the war against the trolls. <clears throat> it's almost quitting time for me. I'm getting hungry. It's snack time. Uh, question for the stream. Would you rather speak all languages fluently or have perfect pitch? <clears throat> it's midnight in Greece. It's late. What time do you go to bed? What time is bedtime? You must be a night owl. I go to sleep at 8.30 p.m. I will be asleep, well, for sure by nine. I, I go to sleep for like five hours. Uh, and Cleanthus says, have a good evening, everyone. I see you, Cleanthus. Hope you have a good evening. So it means it's midnight for you as well. Cleanthus lives near Mount Olympus. And I can't pronounce that word that Greek said. I'm close to having perfect pitch in the sense I know what keys I'm hearing almost exactly. Dude, you got some vocal talent. I know I've said it before on stream, but... You, le you legit have some talent, man. You need to keep at it. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys were here, Andreas and Minimac. Or all you guys, Bloodleaf has a YouTube channel as well. He does music. Uh, you should definitely check him out. And soon to be live streaming. Hey, and as you guys get your channel going, all, any of you guys, open invitation. If y'all want to do the, uh, the duo stream... I'd love to do like uh, interviews with you guys, or just chit chatting, or I think I think that's entertaining. Um, while I'm working here at the Potter Wheel, you guys be doing your thing, I'll do my thing. We just chit chat. 
Uh, yes, how do you know? Oh, well, I was talking about Cleanthus, unless you were talking about Andreas. Maybe you picked it up earlier in the stream. <clears throat> Be happy to chat like old times. Yeah, man. Those were some pretty entertaining, entertaining streams, I have to say. I was entertained. Hopefully the people watching were also entertained. Many, you must have entertained many, Mac, because you guys got married. So... Uh, I think you can click my channel icon on my comments. Do it. Duo stream would be cool. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Um, I'm doing the mobile stream thing right now, but I may end up setting up OBS and doing, um, I, I'd like to try setting up a vertical stream, but doing like a top-down camera on the wheel, maybe like a face-on camera. Try that at some point. <clears throat> My favorite streams were when we hung out as friends. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, that was fun. I liked that panel we did. You, you remember, were you on that the panel, the drink drink with streamers or whatever, where we were all hanging out and having drinks, and then um, there were a couple we did where we played games together. We did like Rocket League night and streamed that. Oh, what was that called? Yeah, I think I think Paul hosted it. That was fun. I noticed I saw Paul, he posted on Discord that he's taking a break from Twitch now. Oh yeah, Sexy Stream Club. <laughs> that was great. And Sexy Streamer Snacks. That was that was highly entertaining. Oh man. The shenanigans. The copious shenanigans. Uh, Mini Mac, I was on it once. Yeah, that was cool. Like Kit Kats. Yeah, you got a sex. Sexily eat a Kit Kat or a donut, apple. <laughs> yeah, there was a there was a snack compilation. I forgot about that. Oh man, good times. Good times. Fun times. I like the little castle in the background. I keep missing. I keep missing chat. I'm getting distracted. Yeah, that actually, my wife made that before we were married. I'll show you guys. I'm gonna get clay on it tonight. I guess it's clay itself, so we'll just rinse off. But uh, Meg's made this for me uh, in her high school ceramics class. Um, I think it would have been we were we were basically planning on getting married at the point when she made this. We might have been engaged at that point, but she made that. Meg's is super talented. I have a piece of face pottery that she made. I need to get that and bring it in here. It's very cool looking. She made that for me. She made me this like slab constructed tray. That was back before the time where we we had no idea we were going to be doing this. <clears throat> oh, titter critter. Yeah, I still see her every now and then on Instagram. She's on there. I'm um, still connected with quite a few people via Instagram. Good old Meg's cute. The corn, oh, like the thing, the thing at top, the top. Assuming that's what you're talking about. All right. Can you guys hear the wind outside? The wind has picked up. It's crazy breezy out there. All right. I'm going to do this mug. I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to do two more mugs and then one more big thing to end the stream. Ow. Catch my wrist next to the castle. Oh, those are, uh, those are sponges. Those are these, these things, I think. I think that's what you're looking at. <clears throat> A big pile of brand new sponges. I use sponges like crazy. I never answered number uh, the number 14 of the would you rather questions. Would you rather speak all languages fluently or have perfect pitch? I think that the languages would be more beneficial. I think Bloodleaf, Bloodleaf, do you answer that one? I think I probably missed that chat. Guys, I missed chat. That means you guys are, uh, y'all are keeping me busy. Or I'm just being distracted. <laughs> it looks like corn. 
I can see that. Let me see if I can see it in the... Uh, oh, wait. Hold up. That's weird. <laughs> can you see that? Did my camera move? Oh, do you mean this thing? This mug here? You can't see the sponges. You can see that. It's just a textured mug. It's got some various tools in it. Did you guys see me get super confused there? I was looking, I was like, where's it at? I can't see the sponges. It's totally wrong. I think on languages, so I can go around the world eating all the tasty noms and meeting awesome peeps. Yeah, languages would be very, uh, very handy. And I could stream on YouTube and I could read the Greek, which would be cool. It'd be very cool. Man, I gotta wash this apron. It's filthy. It's getting my arms filthy while I'm working. <clears throat> so, we're gonna do this mug and one more mug and then a big thing. What should I make? Uh, I wish I knew more languages. What languages do you know, Bloodleaf? I only know English. I know, like, barely any French, but some French. I can tell you where the book is at the library. Où est la livre? À la bibliothèque. Repeat after me, children. À la bibliothèque. That's the coolest French word. Perfect. <laughs> Indeed. I'm sure. I use my French to impress the ladies. That's how me and Megs got together. She heard my, my French. She heard me talking about going to the library. And she's like, hey, I love libraries. I'm glad that I know how to say library in French now. So, therefore, hey, let's get married. That's how it happened. But Leaf says, I only know English fluently. I know super little German, and I'm still learning Japanese. Oh, you learned Japanese? That's cool. That'd be a cool language to learn. Be cool to watch anime without the subtitles. Alright, Bert, I think you're clean now. Nope, nope, Bert's not clean. There. Oh, I haven't posted my short yet. The Today's short, Bert has a medium difficulty hiding spot it's not nearly like the last one the last one pulled out all the stops hit Bert in three spots one of them was like a flash on the screen the other was like a tiny dot of his head that barely even looked like him and then uh the other one was medium difficulty <clears throat> i don't even watch anime i just love japanese culture i think japanese culture is pretty cool uh, I know ASL, a bit of French, and I do Canadian quite well. We do Canadian English quite well. <clears throat> what has happened with the countries and languages? Oh, what do you mean? We've been as separate as our borders and our grievances have, have kept us. There are a couple of melting pots throughout the world, but by and large, uh, people have remained in their in their enclaves of, you know, where you know wherever they were born. I know English, a little French, a few Greek words. I haven't watched anime in my life. Well, there are some pretty good animes. I would recommend it. Dad was rubbish, not teaching me Greek. Well, you know, yes and no. Multiculturalism has been the flavor of the Western world for, well, since you were a kid and since I was a kid. It was encouraged in us to become part of the country, our country of origin. So. Like, I was encouraged to be American, not 
like the sum of my parts or you know the cultural heritage because I'm like part German, part Irish, part um, Native American, like got all this. But I was encouraged to be American more than anything. Nowadays, there's a push for people to either move here or be here and to not embrace American culture but keep the culture of their origin, which in my opinion, I find that really odd. It's very bad for the country. English became uh, the main universal language everyone was trying to learn in addition to their own, so some places just gave up on trying to learn anything else. But Greek words, Andreas, so some places where I grew up didn't care about anything but English. Mostly swear words from my cousins. <laughs> Uh, I could see it. <laughs> you would. You would, man. That's great. Um, but I think that's a lot of the reason why, you know, there was an era there, a period where, you know, we embraced, I guess, nationalism. And then, you know, we, you know, American was our culture. So it was in the best interest of the parents to leave leave that past culture behind and let the kid fully assimilate because uh, that that equals more success long term than staying in a small enclave does that make sense I don't know that's kind of how I see it um, I think that multiculturalism uh, I mean it's not a great thing at the expense of having a national identity. Does that make sense? There. There's your political thought for the day. Or cultural thought. I don't know. I think we lose something when we give up our nationality in, you know, looking to the past. Hello, new friend. I don't know what that means, but I'm glad you're here. Welcome to you. You got here just in time to see me make the very last thing. All right, that's not going to fit there. I'm out of table space. And let's make something big, ladies and gentlemen. I got one of my rinky-dinky bats here, but we're going to make it work. And then we'll windy windy wind it down. I'm going to scoot. It's great to see you, bud. Hey, Mini Mac. It's great to see you, too. Glad you're here. And I hope to converse with you later on. Hope we get to do a stream together at some point in the future. Hey, you guys, um, follow Mini Mac and Andreas's YouTube, their new YouTube. You can put that in the chat one more time, Greek man, so people can see it. <clears throat> because I'm from Greece, my cousin teach me English and cuss words because she's angry and swears. <laughs> it's universal. It happens everywhere. I'm going to use two of these big pieces and I'm going to make I think I'll make a nice tall bowl uh, Korea I'm not sure it looks like Korean but I, I'm really terrible at figuring out what languages are which 20 acre wood NB bless you again yeah man keep popping in once you guys get going let me know and I'll, I'll 100% shout you guys out Bloodleaf says, Wendy wind it down would make a great t-shirt with the drawing of you throwing a mug on the wheel. Indeed. That's one of my slogans, one of the things I say. Also, howdy doody tootie fruity. It's a common one. I say that pretty much every day on our Instagram stories. We do that. If you guys haven't seen that, me and my Megs engage in shenanigans on the old Instagram daily on our stories. Not many people watch that at all. We get like 30 people watch that every day, but we still do it. Uh, I wish it was easier to edit things together. Maybe Megs could do that. I have tried to post some of that on Reels, but they, it just doesn't do as good as the pottery videos. Uh, now, the move has happened. Things should settle. And I'm glad you guys made it over safely. Are your sons coming over to hang with you guys? Are they still in England right now? Are they planning to come over? I think, didn't you say one of them was coming over? I'm trying to re recall our conversation. <clears throat> My 
my oldest is coming in September. How, how old is your old? Your oldest is like 18, right? Around about coming of age. And then your younger two, I guess they're probably, I think they were what, like 13 or so when we were hanging on Twitter. So they're probably about that age. 16, 17, 18, right about somewhere. Maybe the oldest is older. Maybe he's like 20. 23, yeah. <clears throat> Youngest is now 18. And they were just lads last time we were talking because that was some year, that was like six years ago. Did you know that, man? That was a whole six years. It doesn't seem like it. That was a whole pandemic ago. We probably need to chit chat about all that stuff too. And see how you guys fared during the pandemic. Because that's a whole that's a whole maybe we should talk about the pandemic. Would you guys be interested in doing that on a live stream one day? I'm curious like other people's adventures. A lot of people just want to forget that it ever happened. But I find it really interesting. Like cause man, that was a weird time. <clears throat> we had a pandemic wedding. But did you got were you guys planning the pandemic or planning the wedding before the pandemic happened? Gotta be careful pushing this out. I like pushing it out, but I'm not careful I can catch the clay on the back side. You're not really supposed to sit that way. It's better if you pull it towards you. But I push it. Cause I'm just, I guess I'm just an idiot. I don't know. <laughs> the action figure has clay in his eye. Poor action figure. Poor Bert. Hey, uh, if you watch my shorts, my videos, be sure you look for Bert. He hides in the back. <clears throat> I'll give you the full story when we chat. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe when we stream together, that'd be a good topic to talk about. So I'd love to talk to you guys about that. It'd be fun. I find that very interesting. Man, the pandemic was weird. There at the beginning, we were quarantining hardcore like, and then... Um, we were like wiping our groceries off and stuff. It was weird. Uh, Megs went to a writers conference like before it even uh, started, really. And these New Yorkers were down, uh, like they were like guests at the th panel, like like a celebrity guest panel or something. And they were already like wearing masks and stuff. We were like, what are these people doing? And they were. Uh, they were wearing masks so as not to catch COVID from the uh, the bumpkins in Alabama, I think. <clears throat> uh, Clantha says, Andreas, I wish health for your family. Thank you. You too. Bloodleaf says, we decided to get married during the pandemic because we realized how well we are even being cooped up together for a long time. Hey, that's good, man. See, me and Megs had already been married for about 15 years when the pandemic started. I might turn this one into a yarn bowl. It's just about the right size. I need to be better about making some of those. I do have people ask about them every now and then. Boom. Bowl completo. You guys, it's been a real good stream. Almost two hours, and then before that, we did about an hour before the eclipse. Um, a good time. I had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed as well. If you're watching this after the fact, come hang out with us live. We have a good time. Just chit-chatting and jib-jabbing. Talking about serious business of uh, would you rather. Like... Would you rather speak all languages fluently or have perfect pitch? Things like that. But mostly just chit chat and jib jab. Uh, it's been a real good time. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying the live streams. And you guys make the uh, the mug making go real quick. The time passes very fast. It's almost time for me to go home and get some food. I'm hungry. I'm planning to stream again tomorrow. I certainly, I probably won't go a whole two hours or three hours like I did today. 
Uh, but I'll be back at about 12 Central, 12, 12 30 Central tomorrow. Probably making some more mugs. I've got some orders for standard boxes, basically, so I gotta make a whole bunch of plain mugs. Uh, Bloodleaf's making dinner now. Oh, I want some dinner. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat some chips when I get home. A little appetizer. I am looking forward to that. We have lots of chips. There's some of the throw rings on that bowl. And then tomorrow I'll put a face on it. I may do a face, put the faces on the cups kind of stream this week as well. So, but right after this, stay tuned. The reel is going to be posted. And uh, Bert will be hiding. I've got some pretty good Bert hiding places this week. I, I'm excited to see if you guys can, how, how quickly you guys find them. <clears throat> I made wings and fries and onion rings. Oh, that sounds good. I love wing night. I want my I might make some chicken nuggets. We were talking about that earlier and just uh, the disconnect. Or my phone's going dead. But I hope you guys have fantastically phenomenal evenings. I will be back tomorrow ish at uh let's see. Yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow at about 12 to 12:30 ish. Making the mugs. And appreciate you guys being here. Till next time. Hey, you come back. I accidentally hit the um, hit my power button. Catch you guys later. Bye. Pro streamer. Pro streamer here.